Okay, everybody, welcome to another ITL. Uh, we've, we've done a few that I liked, a few you liked, so this, hopefully this will be another one that you like. Uh, we're going to talk about gates. I know that sounds a little mundane, but there are some cool things you can do with gates. And after I show you these, I'm sure you guys are going to think of some things to hit me back with and, and, and uh, take these things to a, these ideas to a whole other level. Um, let's start off with, let's say you've got a kick drum and you want to add a little sub to it. Well, all you got to do is figure out the key of the song. This is one way. Figure out the key of the song. Oh, you already know the key of the song probably because you're a producer. And then um, convert that to frequency. There's charts that do that for you. Uh, I'm going to pick something simple like, uh, let's pretend like the key is A. So we know A is 440. Divide that by 2, that's uh, 220. Divide by 2, 210. And divide by 2 is 55. So let's take a sine wave generator and put it... Um, on 55 cycles right here. Now after the sine wave generator we're going to put a, a gate. <clears throat> I'm using a drummer. You can use anything. It's just I thought this one was a little more instructive the way the knobs and stuff were laid out. Okay now the gate we're going to side chain. We're going to use bus 57. We're going to take the information from bus 57 um, right here. You see bus 57 from our kick. And so now the, our kick is going to open and close the signal generator. Now the signal generator is set on 50 cycles. So, okay, that's the signal generator by itself. That's all you're hearing. If you've got little speakers, I'll, I'll, I'll do it at 100 cycles so you can hear it in a minute. Okay, now let's put the gate in. Okay, now let's take this out. Let me let you hear the kick drum. show you the gate. You notice here it's opening and closing with the kick drum. So let's listen to that. Okay. Now we can we can change the release time. We can make it go longer. Shorter. And then we can, the threshold determines, you know, that works like a regular gate. I've, I've got the compressor bypass. This is what you're hearing. That's, that's, that's just the signal generator. Now for you little speaker guys, let's, let's, do, um, let's do 110. All right, so you can you can do that with any number of things. You don't have, you don't have to use just sine waves. I'm going to show you how to add some dirt to a snare drum in just uh, next week by doing the, using the same technique. Now, um, another technique with a kick drum is to take a pad or a crunchy guitar like a or a pad, nice smooth little pad, and you want to you want to give a little vibe to it. Let's take our hi-hat track, and um, here's our hi-hat track, this blue one. Uh, I'm using a, one of Collins synthesizers. Here's our gate, uh, waves gate. Let's take it off so you can hear. Okay, here's the, here's the pad. It's just real nice and smooth, nice little A minor. Okay. Here's our hi hat. By the way, I'm, I'm putting these these uh, keys and buses. I'm putting them on pre. That way, I can make adjustments and it doesn't affect what my what my uh, gate is doing. So keep those on pre. Okay. Now we're sending bus 42 down to the gate. Bus 42. Now let's listen to the gate. Okay. 
and I'll just put the gate in. Now that's with just that's just with the the the, the noise the, the floor just barely barely doing anything. If we take it take it all the way down, it's it's, it's, it's on and off. Let me remove the hat. But we don't have to take it all the way out. We can um, we can just give it a little vibe. Okay, that gives it a little a little movement. This is without it. Now, I first started doing that on uh, on stunned guitars, you know, like, like that. And um, Andrew, Andrew Whipper called me the other day and reminded me that you can do it on these pads. And uh, he's doing some neat things with it on pads. Okay, now, let's move on. I know I'm moving a little fast, but I'm trying to strike a balance between you guys that know a lot of this stuff, keeping you interested, and then the new guys, you know, you, you're, you're learning as we go. But... If if I need to go back and, and, and spend a little more time on one area, just let me know. If, if enough of you say so, I'll uh, I'll do that. All right, guys. Now uh, this is a this is a use for a gate. You're saying, Dave, that's not a gate. I know, but I'm showing you this because I like using the transient designer as a gate. Uh, this is going to be specific to this particular plugin. Uh, this one. Uh, I don't think this is a UAD one. I think this is a real one. Uh, this is the, the transient designer from transient designer, and then the UAD uh, people make a, a one that's just as good. I mean, they're identical. They're they're excellent. But let's let's show you what I, what what my dilemma is on this snare. Uh, I just felt like I had too much noise. The, the, I just didn't like that, so I thought, okay, let me um, let me try this. Now I'm, I'm gonna raise this up. Just whatever feels in time. Here's bypassed. It's just much tighter fits the song a little better. That's a, that's a gate that's not a gate that you can use as a gate. I use that technique on guitars. I use it on snares. I like a lot of times, I like it on hi-hats because sometimes hi-hats just start bleeding and mushing everywhere and you can, uh, you can do that. Okay?